One strong rumor that's floating around for the last two to three days, Surya Kumar Yadav may be retained by Mumbai Indians, which means Hardik Pandya will not be retained. In this video, let's understand Mumbai Indians as a franchise, what's their decision going to be? Yet again, they find themselves in a very tricky position. So please do click on the subscribe icon and then we are getting started. So the first pointer that we have to understand is Mumbai Indians on a franchise as a whole. We have been seeing right from the start of the IPL, Mumbai Indians likes to have the big players playing for India, playing for them and also potentially leading them, which is Sachin Tendulkar, Rohit Sharma and latest to the list, Hardik Pandya. One small backstory that I want to take you all to is that the transfer news of Hardik Pandya last year. So we have to understand the circumstance in which that news actually came. So before the start of 2023 ODI World Cup, it was almost believed that Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli are phased out of the T20 format and Hardik Pandya is going to lead them in the 2024-2020 World Cup. But the great success for Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli at the ODI World Cup probably prompted the BCCI to give the legends a one more go. And much before the start of the World Cup, Mumbai Indians made a decision to get back Hardik Pandya and appoint them as the skipper because they felt Hardik Pandya is the skipper for India for the next few years and let's try to get him. So considering the same factor over here, right now the news is that Hardik Pandya is not going to be India's skipper for the next few years and it's going to be Surya Kumar Yadav. So the first pointer that I want to say, understanding Mumbai Indians franchise as a whole, probably Surya Kumar Yadav is the choice that Mumbai Indians may take but listen to the next three topics as well. So the second broader topic that I want you all to take to is that longevity of the players. Hardik Pandya, Surya Kumar Yadav. Hardik Pandya is 30 years old and all-rounder probably has 4 more years left of bright cricket. Surya Kumar Yadav, 33 years old, probably has 4 more years of bright cricket. So longevity wise, I think it's a 50-50 choice. Fitness wise, they can always back Surya Kumar Yadav. The third pointer is pretty interesting. Consider the other players involved over here. If given a choice to Bumra and Rohit Sharma to play under Surya Kumar Yadav, the answer might be yes. And the answer may be no if they were asked to be retained by the franchise and play under Hardik Pandya. So this is also one decision factor that may be routed over here. So here also, it signifies that Surya Kumar Yadav may be a possible option for Mumbai Indians to be retained. The last pointer, the most important pointer. IPL is not about what we fans think on a whole and probably the money involved in. There is one more layer to it which is very hidden that probably only the players and franchise know. I won't be shocked if Mumbai Indians still retain Hardik Pandya and let go of the other three players. But statistically, technically, logically, I think Surya Kumar Yadav is the best option to be retained for Mumbai Indians. Leave in your thoughts in the comments. Is it Surya Kumar Yadav or Hardik Pandya? Share this with your friends. Like the video too. 